Bob the Builder is almost done with the chicken coop. And there's our artist working on her chicken painting. She does other things, too. We'll talk to her in just a minute. Um, hi, ma'am. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So um, she's just come, like, walk on in here. Here. Yeah, so she's uh, come in from our audience. What are you, what are you doing here? I'm coming to visit you. Oh. I want your autograph. Oh, you want my autograph? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, let me just go ahead and give that to you right here. I usually don't do this during the show, but there you go. I can't read that. Well, I have chicken scratch. <laughs> it's chicken scratch. Uh -oh. I'm so, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a better one later. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go, back, go back to the coop. Okay. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> okay. So, we've seen eggs added to protein shakes and health drinks, but have you ever heard of adding eggs to your cocktail? It can give them a rich, creamy texture. Bartenders have been doing it for more than a century, and here to show us a craft cocktail featuring eggs is Caroline Starry from Treaty Oak Distilling. Hello there. Hi. Okay, Treaty Oak Distilling. It yes. sounds like a place that I would like to be at. Tell I us tell about it. I tell you what, it's pretty fantastic. Um, we are out in Dripping Springs, Texas, out mm -hmm. in the Texas Hill Country. We're the fourth oldest distillery in the state, mm -hmm. um, which sounds super old until you realize it's only been legal for a short while. So yeah, right. We're 12. Yeah, but um, the, the Treaty Oak is super old. The Treaty Oak is super old. And um, that's, yeah, we, we were named uh, after the, the Treaty Oak in Austin, Texas, where Stephen F. Austin signed um, the treaties that would eventually cause the formation of the state of Texas. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, yeah. there are so many different things we can do with cocktails now. I, I feel like this is another area where there's been a renaissance, just like in food, where we are opening up and getting really creative and not necessarily following recipes, but creating recipes. Sure, sure. Well, what we're going to do today is actually a classic cocktail that um, many people have probably heard of, the whiskey sour, mm -hmm. um, except we're going to make a little bit of a different take on it and add some uh, passion fruit and make it a little bit sweeter. You're adding something else. A little, a little, a little passion. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, so tell us what we got here. All and right. by the way, when you put an egg in a, in a, in a drink, a cocktail, what does yes. that do for it? Well, it depends. Um, we're just going to use an egg white for this. Okay. And so when you do an egg white, it, uh, it just adds an element of silkiness and just some nice viscosity. Um, if you use a whole egg, then you get into a territory where things can get a lot thicker. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, we've all had you know, milkshakes, and or the mm -hmm. original milkshakes were made that way. But um, today, we're just going to use an egg white, and you'll see that it'll just make it nice and smooth. Okay. Um, I have to say, I used to be a little bit weirded out about raw egg in cocktails. Um, uh, frankly, up until I had this very cocktail at a bar in Chicago that's oh. a partner of ours. Okay, because I'm a little weirded um, out right now, yeah. so you make that. Let Fair me see. Fair enough. Let's, yeah. yeah, let's see. So, um, I have a feeling the more alcohol you put in it, the less weirded out you get. But <laughs> you know, that does help. That does help. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, this is just a basic whiskey sour. We're going to do... Um, this is my stopper, by okay. the way. Oh, look at the stopper. It's a chicken stopper. It's a chicken. Oh, that's um, fun. Instead of how chicken fun run, is that? chicken yeah. stop. So we're going to do two ounces of Treaty, uh, treaty Oak Ghost Till Bourbon. And that will go into our shaker. Our shaker has um, fresh ice in it. Okay. And then we're going to do 0.75 ounces of fresh lemon juice. We're going to do 0.75 ounces of this passion fruit um, simple syrup. I would love to make my own. I couldn't find a passion fruit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, luckily, yeah, but when you can't, it's the next best thing. Yeah, huh? luckily yeah. our downtown specs has, I don't know, maybe a thousand of these <laughs> um, of all different flavors. So they always uh, help in a pinch. And then just our egg white. And that'll go in there. And then we're just going to make sure that's on tight. <laughs> Shake it up. I always feel fancy doing this. <laughs> it's where you, where you build your bicep. Yeah, exactly. You burn a few of the calories you're about to consume. So who needs to waste your time on a shake weight? You do this instead and exactly. have something to show after it. Yeah. It's win-win. Yeah. And then we're just going to take this lid off. There's a strainer in the top. Okay. Put it over fresh ice. Pour it there. And you want fresh ice because you don't want it watered down. Correct, correct. And then we're just going to garnish with a little slice of orange and a Luxardo cherry. If you've never had a Luxardo cherry, I don't work for them, but I vouch for them. These are so good. Okay. Um, I'm yeah. going to have to. I'm going to taste the cherry first. Right yeah, now. you got to taste that. Cherry. Um, oh wow, that's like a dessert. Isn't that good? Mm, that's <laughs> very good. All right. Yeah. And here we go. Are you sure you got enough alcohol in it? Yep. Okay. Yep. I just want to make sure. You're it's good. A, You're you know, good. You're good. Ooh, that will ruffle your feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good. Isn't that good? Mm. And it's you know what? Delicious. You're right about the silkiness part. It's kind of like when you blend an egg white, you get the frothy part, but this right. is the silkiness in yeah. here. It really yeah. tastes good. There's nothing this, weird about it. This drink was sort of my gateway drug into the world of, <laughs> of, 
<laughs> of egg and cocktail. Yeah. Uh, after I had this drink, I wasn't afraid anymore. And this is now the City Chicken Sour. This is the City Chicken Sour, and you can get it at FM Kitchen for the next week. And uh, we wanted to partner with FM Kitchen because that's where Pinecone the chicken keeps her her urban urban abode. Yes, she, yes, and Pinecone she the has a that you condo the there. The show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. don't forget to ask for the City Chicken Sour at FM Kitchen and Bar where they have it on the menu. Yes. And for these recipes and more, you can log on to great our site GreatDayHouston.com. Thank yes. you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Make yourself one.